memories of Rogers High School. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Welcome to Rogers High School's annual Honors Night. My name is Anna Murphy and I am the president of the class of 2021. I will be your host for this evening's presentation. I would like to thank everyone for coming to this evening, particularly the sponsors and presenters who so graciously made this evening possible. I'd like to be begin this evening by introducing our assistant principal, Mr. Michael Monahan. To begin this evening, it is my honor to introduce to you the top 10 academic students for the class of 2019. I ask them to please come forward and to the front as I call each name. Starting at number 10 is Jack Gomes. Jack is a senior, class treasurer, is a scholar athlete who has promote, promoted good sportsmanship as a swimmer, a soccer, and a baseball team member. As a member of the AOIT program, he has excelled in AP Computer Science and its IC3, in his IC3 certified. He was a captain of the soccer and baseball teams. Jack was awarded the 2018 Holy Cross Book Award for Outstanding Academics in the select, and selected as the 2019 Division III Player of the Year in Baseball. With an overall GPA of 4.4490, Jack will be attending Worcester Polytechnic Institute in the fall, majoring in computer science. I'll just let you know that the baseball team is doing really well and in a playoff game, so we may not be seeing them tonight. At number nine is Tyler Miller. Tyler is secretary of the National Honor Society. Come on up, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's secretary of the National Honor Society, he won first place in the 2018 National History Day contest for his documentary of The Marshall Plan. He was a recipient of the 2018 Rogers High School Social Studies Book Award for his outstanding academics. He has been the captain of the Rogers soccer, swimming, and sailing teams. Tyler has maintained an overall GPA of 4.4538 this fall. 
Tyler. This fall, Tyler will be attending the University of Rhode Island and majoring in engineering. Number eight is Graham Clower. Graham is a member of the National Honor Society, has received two congressional nominations over the past year, captained the Rogers indoor and outdoor track teams, and has set three school records in track along the way. Graham has maintained overall GPA of 4.4728 and will take his skills to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado, majoring in astronomical, astronautical engineering. At number seven is Kelly McGinn. Kelly's a member of the National Honor Society. She has won several awards, including the History Award for the 2018 National History Day Contest. Kelly is a valuable member of the Academy of Information Technology program, where she has become an IC3 certified and competes, <clears throat> and competes with their award-winning Rogers AOIT Cyber Patriots team. She's an outstanding athlete and is a member of the Rogers girls volleyball and swim teams. She was captain of the volleyball team this season and led the team to a win of the 2018 Rhode Island State Championship. With an overall GPA of 4.4848, Kelly will be attending the University of New Hampshire in the fall, majoring in business. Number six is Aubrey Baker. Aubrey is a member of the National Honor Society and as a junior won the Rhode Island Treasurer's Young Leaders Award. She took first place in the 2018 National History Day contest for her research of the Universe, Universal Declaration of Rights and is a member of the Rogers mock trial team. She has been a four-year member of the Rogers tennis team and captain in her senior year. She also has danced for 12 years at the Gladding School of Dance. Aubrey has an overall GPA of 4.5337. Aubrey will be attending Sarah Lawrence College in the fall with a double major of political science and English. At number five is Jordan Minor. Jordan is a member of the National Honor Society, Mock Trial, and Theater Company. As a member of the AOIT program, she is IC3 certified and a member of the Cyber Patriot team. She is an extremely motivated, hardworking woman who loves computer applications. She won the RI Skills USA Silver Medal in Computer Application both in 2016 and 2017. With an overall GPA of 4.5385, Jordan will be attending Hofstra University as a presidential scholar, majoring in biochemistry with a minor in computer science. At number four is Anna Catherine Murphy. Anna Kate is a leader and a positive role model. This impressive young woman is a scholar who by her humble nature tries to downplay all her academic accomplishments. As president of the National Honor Society, she won second place in the RI State National History Day for her documentary on Edith Wilson. She has attained an overall GPA of 4.6070. Anna Catherine is currently on the wait list for Harvard University and intends to pursue a major in film directing. Unfortunately, Anna Kate is not here tonight. 
At number three is Noah Manuel. <laughs> Noah is a member of the National and French Honor Societies. He has earned numerous awards, including the 2018 St. Anselm's Book Award for Excellence in Academics and Character. As a member of the Rogers Orchestra and Theater Company, Noah has performed as an actor and is between <clears throat> and in between his lines joins the orchestra to play his violin in the pit. Noah has the proud distinction of being named an Eagle Scout in 2018. This young man has worked incredibly hard to attain an overall GPA of 4.7490. No. <laughs> Noah will be attending St. Anselm's College where he will major in biology. This year's salutatorian is Mr. Benjamin Pratt. Ben, the senior class president, is a true gentleman in every respect, and he, he has a genuine passion for learning. He strives for excellence in all aspects of his life. As a member of the AOIT program, he has excelled in AP computer science and was on the Cyber Patriot team. As a junior, he was awarded the National Honor Society's Light of Scholarship Award and won first place in the National History Day contest for his website titled The Cuban Missile Crisis. He received the 2018 Harvard Book Award, the RIT Computing Award, and the Balshan Lam Science Award. As an accomplished athlete in track and captain of the golf team, as their number one player, he is the ultimate team player in that he is well respected by everyone. With an overall GPA of 4.8236, Ben will further his education at Boston College this fall, majoring in finance. <laughs> the number one academic student from the class of 2019 is the Victal valedictorian, Ms. Elizabeth Taylor. Eliza won the 2018 Yale Book Award as a junior and, and placed second nationally for Skills USA competition in technical computer applications. This young woman has juggled academics, swimming, sailing, and community service schedules, achieving all with distinction. It is a tribute to her work ethic and time management skills. Eliza is a member of the National and French Honor Societies. As a junior, she was awarded the National Honor Society's Light of Scholarship Award and won first place in the National History Day contest for her documentary titled, The Marshall Plan. After our award, <clears throat> the award and the 2017 Rochester Institute of Next Technology Scholarship, as a member of the AOIT program, she has excelled in AP Computer Science, and Eliza has an overall GPA of 4.8505. Eliza will be attending the University of Rhode Island this fall studying engineering. I would now like to invite the parents and guardians of these students to come forward and stand in front of them.
The students will now present you with a flower in appreciation for all that you have done to help them achieve success in their lives throughout the years. Congratulations. If we could now have Mr. David Galvin. Good evening. I'm here representing the Frankie Thompson uh, Trust. And on behalf of all the other trustees, I'm here to uh, make these awards tonight for the Thompson Scholarship. And the Frank E. Thompson Scholarship Awards were established in 1947 by a group of Rogers graduates to honor Mr. Thompson, who served as principal of Rogers from 1890 to 1923. The scholarships are awarded on the basis of all-around scholastic achievement and a need for financial assistance. The trust, which provides funds for the scholarships, has many benefactors, but five people in recent years have made substantial bequests to the trust, and the trustees have named the, the five top awards in honor of these benefactors. All awards made by the trust have the potential of being four-year scholarships and the recipients are urged to apply for the second, third, and fourth year assistance. We are awarding the class of 2019 a total of 39,500 in first year scholarship money. In 18, I'm sorry, in 1989, Roland E. Brown and his wife Arlene S. Brown left over a million dollars to the trust. Our Two top awards are named in their memory, and these are uh, of equal value. The 2019 Roland E. Brown Scholar is Benjamin Pratt. The 2019 Arlene S. Brown Scholar is Elizabeth Taylor. Another substantial bequest was made by a former Rogers teacher, Valina Coffin. This year's recipient of the Valina M. Coffin Award is Aubrey Baker. Another annual bequest was made by Anna Morgan in memory of her sister, Elizabeth M. Murray. The committee has selected Jordan Miter as the Morgan Murray Scholar. Thank you so much. Thank you. Over the past several years, a substantial benefactor has created a scholarship in honor of Caldwell A. Whipple and Catherine A. Whipple. The recipient of the Whipple Memorial Scholarship is Ezra Montero. Trustees of the Thompson Scholarship Fund unanimously chose an award for this year, as we've done in the last few years, to honor Terrence Terry Burns, longtime trustee of the fund, former principal here at Rogers, and a true advocate of all that is Rogers. And anybody that knows or remembers Terry knows that that is a very true statement. The recipient of this award this year is Graham Clower.
In addition, the Thompson Scholarship Committee is extremely pleased to assist seven other very deserving students. They are in alphabetical order. Jason Antone. Isabel Booth. Jack Gomes, who I know is hopefully winning a baseball game somewhere. <laughs> William Lovigur. Is he also? He's baseball too. So. Michaela Matthews. Kelly McGinn. Ayla Newsom. On behalf of the committee, I'd like to congratulate all these very deserving Thompson Scholarship Award winners and all the award winners here tonight. Thank you. Now presenting the Edward P. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship is Mrs. Janet McCarthy. Good evening, everyone. It is a pleasure for me to be here tonight to award the second annual Edward P. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the Michael E. McCarthy Scholarship Fund and was instituted to recognize a college-bound senior at Rogers High School, either male or female, who best exemplifies Ed's character. Now, I'd venture to say that maybe one or two parents in the audience remember Mr. McCarthy, the social studies teacher. So this will be nothing new to you. Um, so let me tell you about Ed. Ed was a dedicated and well-respected Newport educator. During his 30-year career, he distinguished himself as the consummate professional. He loved his work, especially his time in the classroom. He was kind, tolerant, respectful, loyal, and inclusive to students and staff alike. He saw the good in everyone. And because today is the real Memorial Day, I'll share with you that Ed was also a Vietnam veteran who was awarded the Bronze Star for meritorious service while he was there. Ed would never have mentioned that because he did not think he was worthy of that honor. But I know different. So Ed was simply a humble and unassuming gentlemen. So things are a little different with this scholarship than they are with most. Um, students don't apply for this. They're nominated by members of the staff or faculty. And they're nominated because faculty and staff members um, notice something special about a student that just goes along their day-to-day -day work in a humble and unassuming manner. And so, I'm going to read to you before I have the honor of um, announcing this year's winner. I'm going to read to you some of the things from his letter of nomination. He is the peaceful student with a giant heart. Everyone knows him and everyone respects him. Even the hall monitors at Rogers commented on how much of a true gentleman 
this young man is. So it was with joy that I present this year's Edward P. McCarthy Memorial Scholarship to Mr. Jason Anton. Now presenting the Dr. John Clark Trust Scholarship is Ms. Colleen Burns Germain. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the Newport Public Schools, and I would like to, and the school committee in attendance tonight, Ms. Louisa Boatwright, Dr. Sandra Flowers, and Assistant uh, Superintendent Dr. Bean. I'd like to congratulate those that are here this evening, and I'd like to congratulate the parents and the guardians. It takes all of us, and you've done an excellent job, so congratulations to all of you. The Dr. John Clark was one of the founders of Newport. He was a minister, a physician, and a lawyer. The trustees of the John Clark Fund are proud to announce the recipients of the class of 2019. Nair Rito Payano. Emma Dagnall. Patrick Kerwin. Christina Copeland. <laughs> Crystal Fuerte. <laughs> Michaela Matthews. Tyler Miller. <laughs> Anika Murphy. <laughs> and that's Annika. I always call her Anika. Kelly McGinn. And Shannon Ward. Congratulations to all the recipients. Congratulations to the parents and families. Thank you. Now presenting the United States Air Force Academy Scholarship, Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Snyder. Thank you. Graham, can I have you stand over here so I can embarrass you? Thanks. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Schneider. It's my pleasure today to represent the United States Air Force and my privilege to present an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado. This appointment is going to a very deserving young man and is the equivalent of a four-year full-ride scholarship at a top-tier university. Appointments to the Air Force Academy are extremely competitive, with more than 10,000 students applying each year. Applicants must not only excel in academics, athletics, leadership, and service. 
They must also secure a nomination from a member of Congress, the Vice President, or the President of the United States. The Air Force Academy accepts only the best of the best. This year, of the over 10,000 applicants, only 1,150 were appointed to enter the Academy. So you can see how truly outstanding this young man is. These students will join the long blue line, becoming outstanding leaders of character and the world's greatest Air Force. To develop as leaders, cadets take part in a wide variety of programs, including flying aircraft, free fall parachuting, competitive athletics, military training, and foreign exchange programs around the world. At the same time, they will attend classes ranging from aeronautical and electrical engineering to history and political science. At the end of four years, they will have earned a Bachelor's of Science in their choice of 27 majors and will be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force. For graduating cadets, the end of school is only the beginning of their adventure. They will take the skills and knowledge they develop at the Air Force Academy and will serve in one of 38 officer career fields for the next five years or longer if they choose. They continue to develop leadership and professional expertise for as long as they serve as Air Force officers. Graduates of the Air Force Academy have gone on to become Rhodes Scholars, Titans of Industry, politicians, generals, heroes, athletes, and astronauts. I can't wait to see what great things this young man will do. So without further ado, on behalf of the President of the United States, Graham Kluwer is hereby appointed as a cadet in the United States Air Force Academy, class of 2023. Congratulations. Now presenting the Aspiring Educators Scholarship is Ms. Mrs. Elizabeth Gibbs. As the 2018-2019 District Teacher of the Year, I'm honored to be here tonight to recognize our aspiring educators. This recognition is given to graduating seniors who are pursuing a career in education at a Rhode Island approved preparation program. Our district, in conjunction with the Rhode Island Department of Education and the Rhode Island Office of Innovation, sponsors this recognition award in order to elevate the teaching profession and to shine a light on the excellence and dedication of Rhode Island teachers. The work of an educator can be life-changing. Teachers shape the future, bringing the world to the students and inviting them to interact and engage with their world in a meaningful way. It is with this in mind that we honor tonight's awardees. First, Christina Copeland, who will be attending Rhode Island College in the fall. Celia Harvey, who will also be attending Rhode Island College in the fall. Keanu McCants, who will be going to URI. and Destiny Quinones, who will also be attending Rhode Island College. I hope that some of these talented young women will find their way back to a classroom in Newport Public Schools. Now presenting the Maura E. Brown Hammonds Memorial Scholarship is Mr. Craig Hammonds. Good evening. The Moore E. Brown Hammond Scholarship was established in 1994 in memory of my mom to assist college-bound minority students on Aquidneck Island. As a native Newporter, she spent more than 25 years educating children in the Newport public school system. On behalf of our committee, it is my pleasure to honor tonight's six recipients. 
Because of your commitment to learning and academic success, we are very proud of you. By awarding the scholarship, we hope to play a small part in achieving your higher education goals. The recipients are Isabel B. Booth, Kiana C. McCants. <laughs> Jordan E. Minor. Ezra A. Montero. <laughs> Leslie G. Ortiz. and Tyra C. Washington. Thank you. Now presenting the Colleen Curry Dawson Scholarship is Mr. Michael Ashby, Jr. Yeah, Mr. Uh, I'm here for the Colleen Curry Dawson Scholarship, the 20th anniversary, actually. Um, this, this scholarship is awarded to someone who's involved in sports, academics, social life. Um, she graduated from the University of Pennsylvania, and this scholarship um, basically represents same, some of the same qualities, and it goes to Ms. Eliza Taylor. Now presenting the Bridget E. Kelly Memorial Scholarship is Mrs. Ellen Kelly. This is my 18th year of presenting a female senior at the scholarship in my daughter's memory. Bridget spent four years at Rogers as a member of an indoor-outdoor track team on the performing dance team on the cheerleading squad plus numerous clubs. She was also a champion Irish step dancer, participating in many competitions and two nationals. The scholarship committee is made up of Bridget's family and friends, people that knew her well. Every year the applicants are extraordinary, and this year is no exception. Each applicant displays similar characteristics as Bridget, such as her goals, her athletic interests, her academic achievements, and her community involvement. This year, a recipient of the Bridget E. Kelly Memorial Scholarship is Leslie Ortiz. Now presenting the Sarah Clooney Scholarship is Miss Regina Jones. Good evening. Congratulations to all here this evening, especially the students who have worked so hard to get to this awards night. You and your family should be very proud of your accomplishments and the bright future awaiting you. This is the 15th year that the committee for the Sandra Clooney Memorial Scholarships has presented a grant to a graduating Rogers High School senior. For those of you who would not know, Sandra was a very dedicated mother and very involved in Rogers High School, especially athletes. She also had three sons graduate from this high school. We received many great applications this year, all from motivated, well-rounded students. 
We thank you all for your applying and wish you well as you continue your education. Our selection for this year as a very well-rounded person and student is Riley Cranson. Now presenting the Middletown Youth Soccer Scholarship is Mr. Walt Wilderman. And good evening. Every year, Middletown Youth Soccer Club awards four scholarships to deserving members of our soccer club based on academic excellence, community service, and most importantly, service to the Middletown Youth Soccer Club. Once again this year, I'm very pleased to make the long trek to the south end of the island <laughs> to present this scholarship to one of your fine uh, young men graduating this uh, 2019. Uh, this player played for uh, eight years in the recreational soccer program, five years in the competitive soccer program, uh, most importantly served as a fall recreational referee and as a competitive travel referee. Anybody who knows youth sports, refereeing is tough for adults, not to mention young men and women. So he did a, a very good job. He also worked for me in the concession stand and I really appreciate that. The recipient from Rogers this year is Mr. Tyler Miller. Thank you. Now presenting the Mosaic Club Bookstore Award is Miss Deborah Birdie. It's an honor to be here tonight to see my kindergarten students. Um, I'm a member of the Mosaic Club. It's a group of women, 60, 70 members. And what we, are, we do is we raise money for our community. So we have fundraisers and we fill pan food pantries. We help the veterans and the homeless. But the greatest honor is we always put money aside for the um, three schools on the island. And so we do public service, community service, and this person who we pick does their great share of um, community service. So tonight I would like to award Eliza Taylor for her community service. Now pre presenting the Peter J. O'Neill Memorial Scholarship is Miss Linda Matoza. Thank you. I'm honored to present this for the O'Neill family. Maggie O'Neill was the wife of Peter J. O'Neill and um, has been given this out in honor of her husband for many years. Unfortunately, she had a fall and uh, the family could not be here. Students apply for the scholarship. And this year's recipient is Josephine Kawile Ridnor. Now presenting the Rogers High School Alumni Scholarship is Miss Colleen Murray. why you all intimidate me here. I don't know. Okay, good evening to all of you. I am Colleen Murray. I'm president of the Rogers High School Alumni Association. 
and a 1968 graduate of Rogers. The association was started. Oh, thank you. Well, if we want to go along that tech, my, my parents graduated from here in 1948. I'm in 1968. My daughter in 1988. My son in 1998. My grandson in 2017. And my granddaughter in 2020. So we bleed red and black. But I want to tell you about my association. The association was started in 1878, one year after the first graduation of 12 students in the new school on Church Street, now the Boys and Girls Club of Newport. There was no pool then, and there was no basketball court. And then in 1922, Rogers moved to Broadway, now Thompson, because enro enrollment grew to 850 students. In 1957, Rogers moved to the site, to this site, boasting having the largest high school basketball arena in Rhode Island and the only school to have an auditorium with a tilted concrete dome, something out of a sci-fi movie at the time. And in 1968, the Newport Area Vocational and Technical Center building, now NACTEC, opened, and I am sure the next new school will be as special and educational as these previous ones were. If you are not aware, the association supports school projects, awards teachers grants, purchases numerous yearbooks, presents yearly scholarships, and we do much more. These are all supported by membership dues and donations from past Rogers graduates. As of June 6, the class of 2019 will be honorary members of this unique organization. I have six scholarships to present. I'll be quick. OK. The first two scholarships are given in the name of George Reynolds. He was a 1956 graduate of Rogers and the retired owner of Avanti Industries in Arizona. He has donated to this scholarship for the past 17 years. It is my pleasure to present these awards to Leslie Ortiz and Shannon Ward. The next scholarship was donated by a cousin in memory of Louise Peyton Conover, RN, a 1962 Rogers graduate. Congratulations to Michaela Matthews. The next three scholarships from, uh, from the Rogers High School Alumni Association are presented to the students that define what it means to be a true Rogers Viking. They are not perfect, but together they are leaders, athletes, volunteers, mentors, community spirited, friends to all, and above average students. Our admiration and best wishes go to Ryan Cullum. Uh, Jack Gomes, who is not here and Jordan Minor. Now presenting the American Helena Educational Progressive Association Benjamin Franklin Award is Mr. Michael Sisak. Sisak, sorry. Benjamin Franklin was a great statesman and also a great scientist and inventor. The HEPA is a worldwide organization which promotes these two classical values. The HEPA was founded by Greeks in honor of ancient Greece, which pioneered magnificent achievements in mathematics, philosophy, democracy, and the arts. Our local chapter has its roots in the local Hellenic community, most notably St. Spiridon, Greek Orthodox Church on Thames Street in Newport. 
Today we recognize a Rogers High School graduate who's displayed great potential in these classical fields. And we're happy to present our award to Rose Kutsoftis. <laughs> who I understand is under the weather tonight. So we'll get the award to her eventually. Now presenting the Liv Moss Scholarship by the Taco Bell Foundation is Mr. Gordon McKinnon. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of my partner and myself, representing our company, Lockwood McKinnon Company. We're a franchise of Taco Bell. I'm proud to present the 2019 Live Moss Scholarship to one of your own tonight. After reviewing a record-breaking number of applications this year, the Taco Bell Foundation has awarded more than $4.5 million in scholarships to 531 young adults nationwide. The scholarship is designed to help students perceive their unique passions that may not necessarily fit into the traditional academic or athletic categories. This year's scholarship applications drew more than 12,000 submissions. Scholarships range from $5,000 to $25,000 per student and contribute to the foundation's goal of awarding $21 million by the year 2021. We have partnered with Taco Bell Foundation to select a recipient in the Providence area. This individual, individual sent in a two-minute video application. It was one of several applications that were reviewed. His submission was chosen for covering all relevant areas, passion, uniqueness, personal presentation, social impact, and educational goals. He's interested in a four-year degree in marine transportation, at the University of Rhode Island. He would like to intern with Sail to Prevail to teach those with special needs to sail and race. Please join me in congratulating Tyler Miller on receiving the $10,000 local Libma scholarship. Now presenting the Jose A. Gonzalez Memorial Scholarship is Miss Virginia Gonzalez. Good evening. It takes me a little bit longer to get up here because I'm a member of the class of 1958, the first class to graduate from Rogers, from New Rogers. And I keep saying, the mind still says 30-something, 40, and the body reminds me that uh, I'm going to be 80 in August. I've told my brother's story in the past, but I will repeat it because I think it's important that you hear about my brother. Uh, José, but we, I always called him Joe, came to America when he was 17 years old. We are originally from the Cape Verde Islands. He was 17 and a half. My father was a great believer in education. So my brother arrived in August, and in September, my father enrolled him at Rogers High School. He spoke no English. In four years, he learned English and did all that was required at the time to get a Rogers degree. 
My brother, while he was at Rogers, played football and was in ROTC and loved both. He graduated in 1952. He was 21 years old. In July, he was drafted into the Army and spent two years in active duties, duty and 30 years in the reserve. When he retired, he was a master sergeant. I'm very proud of him because I think he did what was necessary to be an American citizen, a proud individual. And so I established this scholarship in his memory. We didn't always get along because he thought I was crazy, but it's okay. He was a little bit too conservative for me at times. But in his later years, he suffered from Alzheimer. And one of the things that he always would talk was about, he played football at Rogers High School. We live in East Providence, so he'd say, and we always would beat East Providence High School. I don't even know if they were in the same division, but in his mind, he was beating East Providence High School. So his, uh, he loved, as I said, football, he loved all sports, and he loved being in the ROTC, and he certainly loved being in the Army. His son followed and did over 20 years, and a nephew also did over 20 years. So I'm very happy to be here. I want to congratulate all the recipients, and I want to congratulate all the members, the family, and the guardians, because you had a good hand in, in making it possible for these students to receive the award. I'm presenting the award. I have to take my glasses off because I can't read. To Nar Brito Payano. Now to present the L.C. Yates Educational Foundation is her granddaughter, Kendra Spencer. Hi, everyone. Nice to see y'all again. So yes, my, my Nana was L.C. Yates. She was an English teacher here at Rogers way back when. And then all five of her kids graduated from Rogers and Lucky me, I did too. So it's good to see a lot of familiar faces. So her big thing um, as being an English teacher was trying to open the door when she passed away for other students, um, African-American students that are interested in teaching. And she made it very important to us about education, but also the importance of giving back to your community. And so it was it's with great, great pleasure to give this award to, to Kiana McCants. Now presenting the Chartwell's Food Service Scholarship Award is Mr. Michael Monahan. The Chartwell Scholarship is presented to a senior student who is continuing their education and has shown great character during their years at Rogers. This year's recipient of the Chartwell's Food Services Scholarship Award is Crystal Fuerte. Now 
Now presenting the Bank Newport Financial Education Scholarship is Mr. Evan Rose. Good evening. <clears throat> Bank Newport and Rogers High School have partnered again this year to present a financial education program to help students increase their financial skills and understand that managing their personal finances can pave the way for a bright economic future. As a community bank, sharing our financial expertise is central to Bank Newport's mission. Whether students choose to enter the workforce or pursue formal education after high school, we want them to be confident in their financial choices and achieve success as future employees, parents, and members of our community. This evening, I am extremely proud to celebrate our wonderful, our wonderful partnership with Rogers High School by presenting a $1,000 scholarship to a very deserving young man. He participated in our financial education program this year and demonstrated integrity, aptitude, leadership, and community outreach in his scholarship application. The recipient of the $1,000 Bank Newport Financial Education Scholarship is Ezra Montero. Thank you very much. Now presenting the Rotary Club of Newport Scholarship is Ms. Maria Morrison Barr. Good evening. On behalf of the Rotary Club of Newport, I'd like to congratulate, congratulate all the honorees, their parents and family. Great job. Um, the Rotary Club of Newport awards three scholarships annually based on a range of qualifications. This year, the committee enjoyed interviewing all the applicants. We thank you. We also thank the Rogers High School Guidance Department for their partnership and help with the students and us getting these applications. The 2019 scholarship recipients are Herbert Epstein Anthony Sparato Scholarship, Elizabeth L. Taylor, and Natalia Newsom. The John Drake Rotary Trust Scholarship goes to Audrey, Aubrey Baker. Thank you. Now presenting the Aaron and Rita Sloan Scholarship for Freedom and Diversity is Ms. Linda Matoza. Rita Sloan could not be here tonight. It is my honor to give out two scholarships. Um, students not only from Rogers, but all over the country apply for the scholarship. This year's the recipients are Eliza Chandler and Ryan Cullum. The Frank William Machosa Memorial Scholarship has been given out for over 20 years now. Frank was a 71 graduate from Rogers High School. Uh, the funds are raised through friends through an annual golf tournament. Um, the last year Rogers won the state championship was in 1971 and he played third base. There are um, four recipients this year. I know they're not here, but I'm going to read their names. They'll probably be given out at the sports night. Jack Gomes, William Lavager, Ryan Crawley, and Dylan Stahl. <laughs> Ronald F. Favaris Memorial Scholarship is again funded through the same golf tournament. Ron was a 71 graduate of Rogers High School we ex where he excelled in athletics. Despite a busy work schedule, Ron always made time for volunteer work, such as coaching Little League, Pop Warner, 
um, helping with the charity golf tournament and Rogers Class Reunion Committee for more than 30 years. Ron helped run the uh, Quidnick Island Pol Police Parade. He never looked for attention and he preferred to work behind the scenes. He did countless favors for friends and neighbors over the years and his wife was well lived. This service award goes to Josephine Carwile Ridnell. Christine Meeks Patricia Mock Scholarship. This recipient was chosen based on individual determination to succeed, future goals, ability to come, overcome adversity, motivation, and completing challenging coursework. This year's recipient is Chris, Crystal Ferrate. Now presenting the Newport County Board of Realtors Scholarship is Ms. Stacy Mills. Good evening and congratulations to all the honorees. I'm truly impressed. Uh, for the past six decades, the Newport County Board of Realtors has um, offered two scholarships uh, to students to further their education. Uh, all Newport County students are encouraged to apply and whether they're in public, private, alternative, or homeschool. We had some standout applications this year, many uh, here tonight, uh, but one stood out above everyone, to, for at least for our committee. So it's with great pleasure uh, to present this award to a young lady who's gonna continue her education in my home state of Texas, Natalia Newsom. And that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Congratulations. Very impressed. Thank you. Wish you the best. Now presenting the Newport Lions Club scholarship is Dr. Martin Cohen. The Newport Lions Club has offered service to Aquidneck Island for 96 years. Annually, we offer a $1,000 scholarship renewable for each of the four years that the student is enrolled in a four-year post-secondary education. As a group, the applicants this year were of exceptional quality, and choosing a recipient was quite difficult. In keeping with Lyon's mission, in addition to academic success, much weight is given to applicants' financial need and demonstrated understanding of the principles of service to school and community. This year's recipient demonstrated initiative, perseverance, and application of consistent service over a period of almost six years as a volunteer tutor for the Boys and Girls Clubs, pitching coach for Newport Little League, and participant on athletic teams while at Rogers. She has demonstrated consistent academic growth and high moral character and resiliency. Newport Lions is pleased to give this year's award to Crystal Fuerte. Now presenting the Channing Memorial Church Margit Baum Fund is Ms. Jo Joy Benson. Margaret Baum was an Austrian emigree to uh, Newport, Rhode Island. When she died, she had no living relatives, so decided to leave her estate to four different religious institutions in Newport. Channing Memorial Church was one of those institutions, and the Margaret Baum Committee decided to give part of that money in a scholarship every year. Though not because of her association with Channing Church, we are giving the scholarship this year to Aubrey Baker. Thank you. 
Now presenting the American Culinary Federation Scholarship is Aaron Kenny. Good evening. The American Culinary Federation was established in 1929 with the mission of promoting the professional image of American chefs worldwide through education of culinarians at all levels. The American Culinary Federation Education Foundation Scholarship is awarded to a high school senior who is continuing their education at a culinary institute. Alex Dizon is the recipient of the scholarship. Now presenting the Rhode Island Foundation Victoria Johnson, Johnson Scholarship is Mrs. Victoria Johnson. And as usual, all the parents are smiling. <laughs> it is wonderful. I have been here in this auditorium for this ceremony for the past 21 years. And as long as I'm able, I shall be back. <laughs> I love Rogers High School. And every year I tell the same story. So those people who have been here before already know. My mother graduated from Rogers High School. I graduated from Rogers High School. The same Rogers High School, the same graduating class has Mrs. Gonzalez. We were classmates. I remember the day that Mr. Logothetz came to my college with an application and said, we want you to come back to Newport to teach. I then became a teacher at Rogers High School for 14 years. And then I had to leave. My husband, who was a police officer for the Newport Police Department, got recruited by DEA, and we had to go to Florida. <laughs> so off we went. And then I came back home and for six years, I was the principal of the school I love, Rogers High School. So it is a pleasure, I mean a really pleasure for me to present a scholarship to two students this evening and two students that I know that love Rogers High School. But first, to address this class, this group of students, believe in your dreams, but most importantly, believe in yourself. You are the reason why you are sitting here this evening. You are the reason why you are going on to college. You are the reason why you will be successful. And tonight, I would like to present my two scholarships through the Rhode Island Foundation to Ezra Montero <laughs> and Akina McCants. I forgot, they give me more duties. <laughs> the New pa Public Education Foundation this evening goes to Leslie Ortez. And through the Rhode Island Foundation, and I'm sure many of you know what a great organization that is. It's here in every community in the state of Rhode Island, and it helps many, many people, and it has many, many purposes. 
And this evening, their award goes to for Harold B. Werner Scholarship, Christina Copeland. And this is another committee that I sit on, and it's the Newport County Retired Teachers Scholarship. And I'm proud to say that the person who was chosen was Natalia Blair Newsom. The Vinnie Integlia Memorial Scholarship goes to Leslie Ortiz. Now presenting the Dr. Peter P. in Tedgelion Physical Education Scholarship is Mr. Patrick O'Connell. I know I'm going to have his father. Dr. Peter Integler was born in Newport, Rhode Island. If any of you went to Rogers or Thompson, he was that little doctor that used to come on the field and take care of us all when we were athletes. And his, his daughter actually asked me to give this out. And I'd like to give it to Jack Gomes, who I know, I see his mother and father drove about 100 down 95. <laughs> and they're on their way, the team did, is it an up or a down, what's the story? They won the game, so it's going to Jack Gomes. Now presenting the Kiwanis Club Scholarship is Mrs. Louisa Boatwright. Actually, uh, Chairman Gomes is supposed to be doing this, but he was a little late, so. Um, for the Kiwanis Club Scholarship, the scholarship is awarded based on community service, and this year's recipient is Natiala Blair Newsom. Also, the Charles B. King Award. This scholarship is awarded to the highest ranking female who will be attending college. So this award goes to Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, the Edward King Award. This award is given to the class of valedictorian. So this award is Elizabeth Taylor. Now presenting the Arthur P. and Lorraine Sullivan Scholarship is Dr. Sandra Flowers. Congratulations to all the students here and to the other students who will be graduating. And best wishes and congratulations to all the families and the teachers who have helped to produce these wonders here. Thank you all so much. The Arthur P. and Lorraine Sullivan Scholarship is presented to a member of the senior class who will be pursuing higher education. And this year's recipient is Michaela Matthews. <laughs> the 
The Kristen George Memorial Scholarship was created upon the passing of Kristen George in April of 1997. At that time, numerous friends, neighbors, and educators throughout the state donated money in her memory to help establish this annual scholarship. This year's recipient of the Kristen George Memorial Scholarship is Jason Antone. Now presenting the H.T. Smales Memorial Award is Mr. Robert Leary. Now presenting Mr. O'Connell. I feel good. I'm a pinch hitter like those guys over there. Okay, this award is presented in memory of longtime Rogers educator H.T. Smales. It's presented to a student who has excelled in the vocational program at the Newport Area Career and Technical Center. This year's recipient is Jordan Minor. I'm going to pinch it again. The Purvis Award. Purvis System has a business on the Quinnick Island for over 30 years, and they wish to encourage area students who are continuing their education in the computer engineering field. This award goes to someone in uniform, Mr. Jack Gomes. Eileen Jean's Jackner Scholarship. Eileen was a French teacher for many years at Rogers High School and she wanted to give back and set up a scholarship for our students who were going to go on and, and help other people and improve their quality of life. And this year's recipient is William Laviger. Now presenting the Rose Celeste L Lolly Scholarship is Mr. Patrick O'Connell. Oh, thanks. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This scholarship is for the senior female that has demonstrated the greatest interest and proficiency in physical education. This year's recipient had her grandparents come all the way from New Hampshire to visit Izzy Booth. Uh, the next scholarship is called the Marion Briar Howard Scholarship. And this is probably the most prestigious for anyone at Rogers because it's by a vote of the faculty. I actually send it out and they have to, they have to vote on one male and one female who has outstanding character. And this year it goes to none other than Benjamin Pratt and Elizabeth Taylor. A known fact that those two, both their fathers graduated from Rogers in 1983. I know that for a fact. I, they might have been number like 12 and 13 though, Joe. Okay, the next award is called the Am Allen Family Memorial Scholarship. And this scholarship is for a, su a student preparing to further education in the arts. This year's recipient is Shannon Ward. Next scholarship is the Thomas P. Peckham Scholarship, and it's awarded to a male student pursuing, excuse me, pursuing further education. This award goes to, I, I call him Little Louis, but his name is Noah Emanuel from a play.
Now presenting the Dorothy Drinkwater Lacroix Scholarship is Mr. Michael Monahan. The Dorothy Drinkwater Lacrosse Scholarship is presented to a graduating female student from Rogers High School in the top third of her class. She must have attended Rogers High School for at least three years and is pursuing classical studies, college preparatory studies, or their equivalent with plans to attend a two or four year college. This year's recipient is Kelly McGinn. The Avis G. Marden Scholarship is presented to a student continuing their education, and this year's recipient is Jaitik Harris. Now presenting the Zelda G. Meerman Drama Award is Dr. Nancy Noonan. Good evening, seniors and families, congratulations. This award, the Zelda Merman Drama Award, is given on behalf of the English department to the students who contributes the most to theater production and who has good character. And this award goes to, to Ryan Collum. The next scholarship the English department is giving out tonight is the Florence J. Alofsen English Scholarship, which is presented to a senior planning to attend a four-year college or university who has demonstrated expertise in expository writing and literature. This year's recipient is Aubrey Baker. Congratulations. The first Norman English Prize is given to a graduating senior who loves literature and the performing arts. The award goes to Elizabeth Taylor. The Henry Vaughan Memorial Scholarship is given to a graduating senior who loves literature and the performing arts, and this award goes to Josephine Carwell Ridnor. Now presenting the Midtown Foundation Scholarship is Mr. Charles Holder. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Charlie Holder, class of 87, Rogers High School. <laughs> Jamie Kerwin, I see uh, Jamie back there. Um, I'm the uh, general manager at Midtown Oyster Bar, downtown Thames Street. In case you guys have not noticed, we're open seven days a week, lunch, dinner, come down. Uh, I've always wanted to give back to the community in some way, and especially uh, the kids in the community. You know, they deserve, a, they deserve a lot more. And I remember when I was in uh, Rogers, how important it was to get a scholarship uh, to help go to school. And I was a good athlete, but not good enough to get a full ride somewhere. So I had to deal with that. Um, so the Midtown Foundation, which we started this year, so this will be the first annual scholarship. It goes out to a male and a female. Uh, that they participate in the uh, Career and Technical Center as well as do volunteer work, uh, play sports, and do well in school. So I have uh, the winners for this year are Ezra Montero and Annika Murphy. Thank you. Now presenting the Newport Fire Department Local 1080 Scholarship is Mr. Aaron Bueller.
Hello. Firefighters are fast acting, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Aaron Bueller. I'm a lieutenant with the Newport Fire Department. I'm honored to be here tonight to be uh, awarding a scholarship to uh, uh, a very deserving uh, Rogers High School student. Uh, our union has been awarding a scholarship to one of Rogers uh, High School seniors for many years. Uh, sev several years ago, we made the decision to begin awarding two scholarships. Uh, one of those scholarships is awarded to any Rogers High School student. Uh, the other scholarship is awarded to a student who is a family member of a Newport firefighter. The intent of our scholarship is to uh, support the higher education of the best qualified applicant who demonstrates that they have done good things in their community uh, and in their education. Uh, I've been involved in this process for many years now and has been both an uplifting and heartbreaking experience. Uplifting because we are allowed to glimpse the bright futures of so many great kids and heartbreaking because we simply can't award every one of those kids scholarships. Uh, this year, the award for the scholarship for a Newport firefighter's family member will be going to a student from Middletown. Uh, I'm here tonight to award the scholarship to a Rogers student. Uh, it is my pleasure to award this scholarship to a hardworking young lady with a very bright future. The local 1080 Newport firefighter's $3,000 scholarship goes to Isabel Booth. Now presenting the General Rosecrans Assembly 4th Degree Knights of Columbus Scholarship is Mr. Thomas Murphy. Good evening and congratulations seniors and parents. Um, you've done a great job. Um, I've, as part of the Rosecrans, we donate scholarships to children of Quintic Island. That's Portsmouth, Middletown, and Rogers. Um, as part of the committee, I was honored as a Rogers alum, class of 86, uh, to present two scholarships tonight. The winners are Mr. Ryan Cullum. And Ms. Anika Murphy. Congratulations. Now presenting the Seven Castles Club of Newport scholarship is Joseph Aguiar and Stephen Ferreira. Good evening. My name is Joseph Aguiar, <clears throat> and I'm the chairman of the Seven Castles Scholarship Community. Uh, Seven Castles is a group of 30-some members, and the only thing we do is try, we do one thing a year, and whatever money we make, we give the scholarships for kids from Newport, Middletown, and Tiverton. I'm, I'm sorry, in Portsmouth. And this year, we have two Rogers, three Milltown. Basically, we gave them $10,000 in scholarships. And this year's scholarship will be a memory of George Andre and John Ferreira. On behalf of Seven Castles, I would like to announce the scholarship awards. Ryan Collum. And the president of the Seven Castles, Steve Ferreira, he uh, award the other $2,000 to Jack. Where are you, Gomes? <laughs> Thank you.
Now presenting the Zelda G. Meerman Music Award is Mr. Dominic Pizzi. Good evening, everybody. Congratulations uh, uh, to all the seniors over there. Excellent job. So the, uh, the Zelda Merman Drama Award is presented for uh, the student's contribution to theater production and good character. Uh, that's not exactly what's going on here. We're doing this for music tonight. So this one is for Ezra Montero. I think they have the wrong script up here. That's cool. The, uh, the Charles Coleman Goldstein Music uh, Memorial Music Award is for uh, someone who is participating in music and for outstanding work in the music field, and this one's going to none other than Noah Manuel. I have one more. Cool. Awesome. All right, so this, uh, the Joseph P. Cotton Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has made great contributions to music, uh, not the music, to uh, Rogers High School, and this one's going to uh, William Lavigure. get this moving. I'm going to come up here. Mary Francis and Blanche Levitt Scholarship is presented to a student with special aptitude for the study of science, history, and math. This year's recipient is Benjamin Pratt. The Patrick Francis Carroll Scholarship is awarded to the student with the highest academic standing in social studies during their years of study at Rogers High School. This year's recipient is Noah Manuel. Now presenting the Dr. Samuel Edelson Biology Award is Mr. David Goodburn. Thank you. First, I want to compliment uh, the people that make us all look good. Is the guidance staff and the secretarial staff, uh, Patrick, Linda, Joanne, Ida, who's not here, Trisha Lentz. They put all this together, and, and again, they, they make this run nice and smooth. I'm pleased to represent the Science Department to make two awards. The first is the Dr. Samuel Adelson Award, presented to the outstanding student in the study of biology. This year's recipient is Noah Manuel. The second award is the Helen Holmes Toole Memorial Scholarship. It's presented to the most promising student in science entering a four-year post-secondary program in the study of science. This year's recipient is Elizabeth Taylor. Now presenting the Almora B. Coffin Memorial Scholarship is Ms. Lisa Canal. On behalf of the math department, I'd like to congratulate all the seniors here tonight. Um, the Elmira B. Coffin Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the female student demonstrating the highest degree of excellence and promise in the study of mathematics. This award goes to Eliza Taylor. The Robert G. Merman Mathematics Award is a prize for excellence in mathematics. This is awarded to Ben Pratt. Now presenting the William T. Bull Award is Mr. Patrick O'Connell. 
Okay. The William T. Bull Award is a perpetual academic athletic scholarship given to a Rogers High School senior in memory of Billy Bull. This year's recipient is Jack Gomes. Next up is the James Fitzgerald Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a senior that has demonstrated excellence in physical education, and I hope he's going to be running around in Colorado because it's going to be Graham Kluwer. The next award is a Rhode Island Foundation um, in memory of Charles and e Oh, it should just be Agnes. I know how to spell Agnes here, but it's wrong. Agnes McCarthy Memorial Scholarship. It's presented to the low-key guy who goes under the radar, and his name is Patrick Kerwin. Good guy. Now presenting the Dr. Rufus E. Dara Memorial Scholarship is Mr. Michael Monahan. The Dr. Rufus E. Dara Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has been a valuable contributor to school athletics. The Dr. Rufus E. Dara Memorial Scholarship winner is Natalia Blair Newsom. Now presenting the Alliance Francais de Newport Scholarship is Miss Vera Reard. The Alliance Francaise of Newport was founded 75 years ago to celebrate and promote French language, French culture, and the Alliance Francaise has been awarding scholarships to all the students in five local or area high schools, and they are nominated by their teachers. And this year's award goes to Josephine Carlisle Ridnor. Now presenting the Rogers Class of 1961 scholarship is Mr. William West and Ms. Patricia Simmons. A little slow tonight, thank you. Congratulations to the recipients and also to the class of 2019 and to the parents and teachers at Rogers. As you can see, we are from the class of 61. I also, <laughs> I also had a brother and sister who graduated in the class of 58, and I had a twin who graduated with me in 61. But the recipient of the Rogers High School class of 1961 scholarship is Riley Cranston. Now presenting the Vergadamo Family Scholarship for STEM is Mr. Philip Vergadamo.
All right, thank you. This is the second year we've put this scholarship together, and it's been offered in memory of my parents, uh, Sal Vergadamo and Natalie Verdi Vergadamo, who were graduates back in 1931 and 33. Uh, I'm a graduate in 1960, so I beat the 61 guys out by one year. Um, we, uh, I thought it would be really great, and what I'm, I'm a practicing engineer, so I'm very partial to the, uh, to the engineering and science uh, and feel that people should be moving forward in that area. So we've given out two scholarships. And one, the first scholarship is offered to a student who, who desires to pursue a STEM career in one of the science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And this year, I've given it to Elizabeth Taylor. And let me tell you just a little bit. She is very qualified. And she showed her unique understanding of engineering problem solving, which is something that's very unique and, and, and some places it's a, it's, it's a gift. Um, and also her concern for the environment and her ability to work with other students. Uh, I felt that this is very deserving. So Elizabeth, I'd like to give you the first scholarship. The second scholarship here, at my time in, in Rogers High School, I participated in the junior ROTC program. And back in the 1960s, I think we had quite a large JROTC core. But one thing I took away from that was a lot of leadership skills which it taught me. And being a, in high school, you know, you're learning things all the time and learning how to be a, a bit of a leader and overcome some of the timidness that we all had uh, really was a great benefit to me in later life and also in my own military service that went on from there. Um, so the second scholarship is a JROTC scholarship and it's, it's given for someone who shows leadership and responsibility and willingness to help others. I've chosen Nob Riddle for that scholarship and she's demonstrated leadership and mentoring, and particularly her efforts to organize some English language learner support for other students who had difficulty with a second, English as a second language. No? Thank you. Thank you very much, and congratulations to all of the recipients tonight. Now presenting the Rhode Island Student Loan College Planning Center scholarship is Ms. Marissa DeCalbis. Oh, sorry, <laughs> the college advisor here, so this is a very exciting night for me. If there's one thing I love more than scholarships, it's FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. And this year, our school did a good job with that, which gave us um, the scholarship to award to two students. They're going to be Jai T. Karras and Nar Brito Pino. I'd like to recognize the recipients of the following scholarships previously awarded. We would be remiss. There are many groups that are, our students apply for scholarships. They let us know, and they often want to have their own events. So I'm just going to ask the students to stand. Uh, one huge one that was extensive uh, is the Carter Roger Williams Scholarship worth $20,000. Ezra Montier, will you please stand up? Congratulations. <laughs> The Newport Prevention Coalition Community Service Awards was given to Isla Blair Newsom and Leslie Ortiz. Congratulations. Thank you. 
the Advanced Designee National ROTC Scholarship worth over $135,000, three years for Joseph Frederick II. Congratulations. <laughs> the Forum Lodge Order Sons of Italy Anna M. Reaper Scholarship was awarded to Marin Abara. <laughs> the Chan Tram Scholarship was awarded to Jonathan Guzman and Selena Aguila. <laughs> and the Joseph F. Winthrop Memorial Scholarship to Eliza Taylor. <laughs> and the Red Sox Foundation Scholarship to Jack Gomes. This concludes our presentation. No. No. Just announce him. Oh. <laughs> now presenting the Rogers High School Con Centennial Scholarships is Mr. Robert Rick Jr. Good evening, Superintendent Germain, members of the Newport School Committee. Good to see you here tonight. Uh, Mr. Moynihan, as well as family and friends of tonight's award recipients, and an especially very good evening to members of the class of 2019, soon to be the 146th graduating class from Rogers High School. That's a lot of them. It is indeed a pleasure to be here this evening representing the Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship Committee. This committee came about as part of many, many special events that were held during 1973 to commemorate Rogers High School's 100th year. This committee and the scholarship programs it handles have evolved a bit since awarding a single $500 scholarship in 1974. Today, Rogers High School seniors fill out a single application to apply for one or several, or possibly all of the 14 different scholarship programs currently under the umbrella of the Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship Committee. This year, the committee was privileged to select recipients for 26 awards totaling over just over 600, hmm, let me try that again. 26 awards totaling just over $65,000, and in 45 years, 980 scholarships have been presented, amounting to almost 1.8 million to assist Rogers High School graduates with continuing their education. Um, I would like to echo Dr. Goodburn, um, and with a thank you to the counseling office staff uh, for providing the transcripts and copies that complete each application package, um, as well as the support that makes this whole evening possible. And now for the good part, onto the scholarships. The first one I have the pleasure to present is the Thomas C. Archambault Computer Science Award. This scholarship fund was established in 1991 by Mr. and Mrs. Thomas B. Archambault in memory of their son, Thomas C. It was first awarded in June 1992. The award criteria include that the student must have completed at least one high school computer science course, uh, personal character, and the student's acceptance into college with an intended major in the field of computer science or engineering. It is interesting to note that there is a provision in the scholarship agreement that reads, quote, in the event the field of computer science should cease to exist, the committee shall award the scholarship to a student intending to major in a business-related field. 
Fortunately, it has not been necessary to invoke this provision during the last 27 years and doesn't look like it will be anytime soon. For the past three years, our recipient has actively participated in the Academy of Information Technology program at the Newport Area Career and Technical Center. She regularly competed in the Web Design Contest of Skills USA and won gold at the state level in both her sophomore and junior years. This enabled her to travel to Louisville, Kentucky, two summers in a row representing Rogers in the national competition. In the fall, she plans to attend Wentworth Institute of Technology in Boston to pursue a career in computer science. It is now our privilege to present the 2019 Thomas C. Archambault Computer Science Award to Emma K. Dano. The second award I have the pleasure to present is the Herman Bruin Scholarship, um, one of the older awards um, being presented tonight by the Centennial Committee. It was established in 1922 and is given in memory of Herman Bruin. The award criteria state that it's to be given to a male student, demonstrating academic excellence in science courses at Rogers, including biology, chemistry, and physics, and intending to pursue a bachelor's degree. In addition to college prep courses in biology and chemistry, this year's recipient has also completed courses in AP Chemistry and AP Physics. He is also a captain for the varsity baseball and soccer teams and is here in uniform tonight, as well as the class treasurer. The 2019 recipient of the Herman Bruin Scholarship is Jack D. Gomes. Next scholarship is the James Colton Crowley Sports Scholarship Award. This award was established in 1989 in memory of James Colton Crowley. James had been a member of the Rogers High School class of 1989 and due to tragic circumstances did not graduate with his class. His family established a scholarship in his memory, quote, for the benefit of graduating seniors who have participated in some fashion in athletic endeavors and are matriculating to an accredited post-secondary institution. The award criteria include participation in Rogers sports in some fashion. This can be as a player or a manager, scorekeeper, cheerleader, etc. And secondly, scholastic achievement. This year we have two recipients. During his four years at Rogers, our first recipient has been a key participant on the sailing, swimming, soccer, and indoor track teams. His National History Day documentary earned him a tie for first place at the state level. In this past year, he also served as secretary for the local chapter of the National Honor Society. It's a pleasure to present the first 2019 James Colton Crowley Sports Scholarship to Tyler B. Miller. Our second recipient is also a very talented athlete. She is captain of the Rogers High School girls soccer, indoor track, and softball teams. She has been very involved with her class, serving every year on the student council. It is a pleasure to present the second 2019 James Colton Crawley Sports Scholarship to the class vice president, Annika L. Murphy. Our next scholarship is the General Contractors Association Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 1992 by the General Contractors Association of Newport County. It came from funds designated to promote programs which would help ensure that there are sufficient skilled employees in all crafts related to the construction industry. The award criteria includes scholastic ability and personal character. This year's recipient has been enrolled in the Newport Area Career and Technical Center's Construction Technology Program for the past three years. Outside the classroom, he has been a player and captain on varsity football and lacrosse. A forward on the hockey team, he was presented with the Hobie Baker Character Award this year, and he has also worked with the Unified Basketball Team helping special needs children. It's a pleasure to present the 2019 General Contractors Association Scholarship to Riley M. Cranson.
Our next scholarship is the Henry G. Heffernan Memorial Scholarship. This award was established in July 1971 by Emily C. Heffernan, the wife of Henry, who was a member of the class of 1944. While at Rogers, Mr. Heffernan was captain of the tennis team. When he later became a stockbroker, tennis continued to be a part of his life. He served at the Newport Casino as a lineman and as an umpire, and for several years as chairman of the tournament committee. He was elected a member of the Board of Governors of Newport Casino in August 1955 and was chairman of, his, of its executive committee at the time of his death 16 years later in 1971. Given Mr. Heffernan's lifelong interest in tennis, it should come as no surprise that participation in the Rogers High School tennis program is an item to be considered in making the award. With a very good and active tennis program here at Rogers, the committee has had little trouble including this consideration. This year we have two recipients. The first has been a four-year member of the tennis team and is one of the, this year's co-captains. She has also been on the student council for four years, on the mock trial team, and participated in several Rogers Theatre Company productions. It is a pleasure to present the first 2019 Henry G. Heffernan Memorial Scholarship to Myron A. Arenberry. And our second presentation also goes to a four-year member of the tennis team, and she's the other co-captain. Apparently someone who really enjoys a challenge, she has taken seven AP courses while taking advertising design and new media for four years at the Newport Area Career and Technical Center. It's a pleasure to present the second 2019 Henry G. Heffernan Memorial Scholarship to Aubrey E. Baker. Our next award is the Beryl Johnson Scholarship. This award was established in 2008 by Mrs. Johnston, who retired in 2007 after many years with the Rogers School Department, Newport School Department. She was a counsel here at Rogers, and the Centennial Scholarship Committee benefited from her input on several occasions. This scholarship is based on the student's general contribution to Rogers High School and the community, as well as on personal character. Originally, Mrs. Johnson was planning to be here tonight to present this award. However, um, she got her refereeing schedule, um, and she's at a volleyball finals match. So, uh, you know, as busy in retirement as, uh, <laughs> as she was when she was working, I think. Appropriately, this year's recipient has been an important member of the Rogers volleyball team. The team capped off a great season by winning the Rhode Island State Championship title. She's enrolled in the Academy of Information Technology program and a member of the Cyber Patriots team. It's a pleasure to present the 2019 Beryl Johnson Scholarship to Kelly C. McGinn. Next, I'd like to present a series of awards that are the Long Wharf Trustees Scholarships. These awards are provided by the Trustees of Long Wharf and Public Schools, a group established by act of the Rhode Island State Legislature in 1795. In that year, a state lottery was held to fund the rebuilding of Long Wharf, which had been demolished by the British during the Revolutionary War. Proceeds from operation of Long Wharf enabled the trustees to build and turn over to the Newport School Committee two schools, the Calendar School in 1863 and the Potter School in 1882, which those schools have since been sold off, but okay. In 1964, the trustees succeeded in having their charter amended by the legislature, giving them authority to use their funds for scholarships or grants to organizations for the educational benefit of children. Their scholarship efforts began with a $500 yearly grant to Dollars for Scholars, a program initiated in Newport by Dr. Russell Beekman. When that program was discontinued, the trustees transferred the scholarship program to the Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship Committee. The first of award of $500 was made in 1975. However, since that time, the funds available to tr trustees have increased on several occasions, enabling them to increase their scholarship program to include several multi-year awards. 
These awards are based on a combination of financial need, scholarship, and good character. This year, we were presenting 12 scholarships on behalf of the trustees of Long Wharf. Uh, the first two are for four years, so they provide some assistance each semester for four years. And it's a pleasure to present these to Kenya C. McCants and Leslie G. Ortiz. We also have two two-year awards, so they provide assistance for each semester for two years. And these are being presented to Isabel Booth and Ryan Collum. And next we have a series of one-year awards. And the first couple of these, the first goes to Myron A. Arambari. <laughs> and other to Riley M. Cranson. <laughs> also one to Ryan J. Crawley. as well as one to Joseph S. Frederick. Next one is presented to Mia M. Mojica. And another to Natalia Blair Newsom. <laughs> also, Jason J. Richardson. Finally, one to Ezra A. Montero. <laughs> Next scholarship we have is the Rogers High School St. Catherine de La Salle Class of 1946 Scholarship. The agreement for this scholarship was originally set up in January of 1992 following a 45th reunion held the previous year. It's a result of a collaborative effort between the three local Newport High Schools at the time, Rogers, St. Catharines, and De La Salle. The classes wanted to have enough to establish a permanent scholarship fund, so fundraising continued over the next five years. Following the 50th reunion in 1997, they determined it was time for the first scholarship to be awarded. Eligibility is open to any member of the senior class who has demonstrated scholarship and leadership during his time at Rogers and is planning to continue education at the college level. Our 2019 recipient has been a regular participant in the Rogers High School Theater Company as well as on the student council. She has helped keep students informed through updates to the school bulletin board with sports announcements, important dates, and upcoming events. Our school committee members will recognize her as this year's RHS student body spokesperson to the Newport School Committee. The 2019 Rogers High School St. Catherine de La Salle Class of 1946 scholarship is presented to Josephine M. Carlisle Ridner.
Next scholarship is uh, actually, I think, the newest one we have on, under the Centennial umbrella. It's the Tift Oxley Scholarship Fund. And it was set up initially in December of 2011 and presented for the first time in 2013. Albert Tift was educated in the Newport schools and lived on Aquidneck Island all of his 91 years. He worked as a printer for over 50 years at Ward Printers, retiring in 1991. He enjoyed several hobbies, including automobiles and carpentry. In his will, he established an annual fund for the benefit of high school students who are planning to study science in college. Two other criteria include personal character and scholastic ability. This year's recipient has represented Rogers on the cross country, swimming, and sailing teams. She interned at NUSC programming a robot, using the knowledge she had gained in the information technology program. And she represented Rogers at the Skill USA competition in Kentucky, placing second nationally in the field of technical computer applications. In the fall, she plans to attend the University of Rhode Island in preparation for a career in marine technology. The 2019 Tiff Hoxley Scholarship is, is presented to Elizabeth L. Taylor. Next award is the Townsend Scholarship Award, which was created by request in 1988 from the estate of Ethel Manchester. It designates that the funds be used for the furtherance of the recipient's education or, tra or training. And this, the criteria for this one include not just scholastic achievement and personal character, but also a letter of recommendation from the director of the Career Area Technical School. This year's recipient has successfully completed the Advertising Design and New Media Program through the Newport Area Career and Technical Center. He is a captain on the football team and a nationally ranked thrower for the track and field team. Last year, he was a member of the group that qualified for the National Robotics Sea Perch Competition. It is my pleasure to present the 2019 Townsend Award to Ezra A. Montero. <laughs> And next we have the Herbert L. Wozencroft Scholarship. This award is presented in memory of Herbert Wozencroft, who was a member of the Rogers High School class of 1929. He was also a member of the basketball team at Rogers and played on the very first Rhode Island all-star basketball team in 1928. Award criteria include personal character, scholastic achievement, and having been a player on a Rogers High School athletic team. Our 2019 recipient has been a member and co-captain of both the women's varsity basketball and volleyball teams. She also assists at basketball clinics at the Boys and Girls Club. It's a pleasure to present the 2019 Herbert L. Wozencroft Scholarship to the Vice President of the Class of 2019, Kenya C. McCants. The next award is the Helene C. Lewis Memorial Scholarship. Helene Lewis Scholarship was established in 1997. It is presented to honor Helene Lewis, who was a prominent member, prominent Newport educator. She was also a special education teacher, vice, chair, vice chairwoman of the Newport School Committee, and a women's health care advocate. In 1994, the University of Rhode Island dedicated a new cytopathology research lab in her honor. That lab studies disease at the cellular level and is an important contributor to cancer research. The Helene Lewis Scholarship is awarded to a member of the senior class on the basis of financial need, scholastic ability, and personal character. This year's recipient has been a four-year member of the women's soccer and softball teams. As a student in advertising and design, she has designed logos for several local businesses, as well as creating a 3D dimensional, three-dimensional display for the annual Ballard Park Illuminated Gardens. In the fall, she plans to attend the University of Rhode Island in preparation for a career in nursing. It's a pleasure to present the 2019 Helene C. Lewis Memorial Scholarship to Michaela A. Matthews.
And speaking of people who were, are busier in retirement, I think, than they were when they were working, uh, I want to thank one of the members of my committee, Mrs. Johnson, for helping me uh, distribute the awards tonight. Thank you. The final award I will be presenting is the Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship. This is truly Rogers' own scholarship since it came about as a result of the events from Rogers' 100th year and involved the efforts of many, especially current and former educators. Current and former educators. The Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship is about giving back to your school and your community. This year's recipient has successfully completed the Academy of Information Technology program at the Newport Area Career and Technical Center. An avid golfer, he has made it to the state playoffs for the last two seasons. He has been very involved with his class, serving as president all four years. Being on the indoor and outdoor track teams probably helped to prepare him for running from one class event to another. It's a pleasure to present the 2019 Rogers High School Centennial Scholarship to the senior class president, Benjamin L. Pratt. Students, in your efforts and in your accomplishments, and mostly in your enthusiasm, all of you in the class of 2019 add immeasurably to the community of Newport and the Viking spirit that is Rogers High School. Thank you for your attention. This includes, concludes my award and scholarship presentations. All right, we want to just call the people up that didn't, weren't here. They were playing some baseball. So front and center, we want William Laviger, Jack Gomes, and Ryan Crowley. All right. Jack, this is the Alumni Award. William Laviger, this is a Thompson Scholarship. Remember, Thompson Scholarship winners, they're renewable and they want your report card. So next year at this time when you call me, you need to report. Do well in college. And Jack, this is another Thompson. And then, oh, Jack, you got more. Oh, Jack, this is the Dr. Peter Integra Physical Education Award. Oh, and then, the most important award, I think, it, it's from Mrs. Matoza. It's her own money making for, in memory of her husband, and it's awarded to all three of you. Congratulations. concludes our presentations this evening. evening. Thank you for joining us. We extend our sin sincere appreciation to those who made this evening possible and wish the class of 2019 much success in their future endeavors. Have a good evening.